it was a stressing job which stretched us, me and most of the team to the limits. And we were using all the facilities, um, test facilities and industrial capability in the country that was required. Um, I don't think the UK could have done a more um, stressing project in the missile field than that. I'm Roy Dummett and I worked on rockets at the RAE from 1953 around to the year 2000. The idea behind the Chevron use, um, we had a, a very small submarine force with a, therefore, a limited number of missiles. And the problem then was that we either, um, we were, either we were very, very limited in what, in fact, threat we could provide. Um, and we had to persuade not only the Soviets, but in some ways, both the Americans and the Treasury, that in fact we could achieve something like attacking Moscow when we were our minimum force and being able to attack a larger number of Soviet cities when in fact um, the whole force was available. It's a most interesting question about um, why am I interest, Why was I uh, interested in working on nuclear weapons? Well, the fact, of course, I wasn't to start with. Um, if I say one of the things that all struck the security officer is how many of the team were actually convicted Christians who wore a cross and a lapel badge and so on, you know. And, and he used, always used to come around each year and say, you know, how can these people work on nuclear weapons? And you had to say, well, we're not believers in using nuclear weapons. We're actually believers in not using nuclear weapons. And it is a deterrent. You know, we all hope that the prime minister, when the day comes, when the Russians drop the old uh, um, nuclear weapons across British cities, he'll sit there and say, that's enough. We won't use our deterrent because it's failed. What's the point? of more destruction. And of course, the policies worked. We have not actually used a British nuclear weapons. 